Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X. Few things piss me off these days. <laughs> no. But this really got me upset. This gets your goat. This gets my goat, and uh -oh. I'll tell you why. I am a huge soap opera fan in general. My grandma got me started on it. And anytime anybody asks me like, why do you still watch it? They're so corny. I got it. My one consistent answer is they are always there for me. They're consistent yeah. for years since I was a kid. They, those characters are always there. Look, and the same stuff that was happening like 20 years ago is happening now. It's awesome. Okay. They're always there for me. And I love them. Now, you can imagine my surprise <laughs> when I look at this People Magazine article that popped up on Twitter yesterday, 20 celebrities you completely forgot start on General Hospital. Now, as someone who has been watching General Hospital since the 90s, who has watched the reruns on YouTube consistently, I, I can confirm. I was aghast because I don't remember Meghan Markle starring in General Hospital. I it, remember Demi Moore on there. I remember John Stamos. It's something Nancy would know. Yes. <laughs> I can honestly say here, you are hearing it from me. I am a General Hospital expert. Mm -hmm. You've got it right here. Meghan Markle did not star on General Hospital. Let's read this crap fest that People <laughs> Magazine put out. 20 celebrities you completely forgot starred on General Hospital. Chandra Wilson joined celebrities like Meghan Markle, John Stamos, Demi Moore, and Stephen A. Smith, who have appeared on the ABC soap opera over the years. Both the longest-running scripted drama and longest-running American soap currently in production, General Hospital, which marked its 60th anniversary in 2023, has seen its share of memorable moments, many of which include celebrity cameos. Hers was not a celebrity cameo. We're going to get to that. But it was not a like Roseanne did a celebrity cameo. Remember when she did yes. it? Like, oh, my God. With Luke and Laura. Yes. Yes. The Emmy Award winning daytime drama has seen some famous faces pop up in episodes and help launch the careers of then mm -hmm. rising stars. From Molly Shannon, mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live fame to Meghan Markle's career on the soap before becoming the Duchess of Sussex. Before becoming the Duchess of Sussex, the former actress got her start on General Hospital. In fact, it was her first acting credit. That is a lie. She briefly played a nurse named Jill on a 2002 episode while still a student at Northwestern University. Okay, there are so many things wrong with that paragraph. First of all, we all know that Thomas Markle, her dad, was a lighting director. He worked on both Married with Children, and then he went on to work on General Hospital. He has also won Emmys for these things. Now, Megan's first credit on her IMDb page and I'm surprised this is even on here. This must have been added after she became the Duchess of Sussex because anything under five or anything uncredited, especially if she's telling the truth, which that's up in the air. But you know how she said she's a fraud. She tells this story about how she wasn't really a member of SAG. And exactly. she said that I'm really surprised IMDb credited this because they usually don't do that if it's not a SAG part. Yeah. Like we've done stuff, but if it's not a SAG role, if it's a non-union role, they won't put it on IMDb. That's just a fact. So I have a feeling that IMDb got a little money from either Sunshine Sacks mm -hmm. or WME to make her resume look a little more, <laughs> you know, yeah. robust. So Married with Children, which her dad was the lighting director in 1995, that was her first credit, student sitting on stage. That sounds like an extra, Stephanie. It does. Background. Do IMDb, do they list extra work? No, they don't. Not that I've ever known. 
And then General Hospital in 2002. So she went from 1995 to 2002, both jobs she got from her dad. Wow. And General Hospital was an under five. Let us explain to you guys what an <laughs> under five is, okay? Like we were doing an episode of The Pretender once. They wanted us to do this scene that just happened to have twins. It was like we weren't promised any lines, da da da. And all of a sudden, the script supervisor who's on the set at the time says, okay, I need a line here. So what they do is they make you fill out this whole form and they make sure you have your union card in front of you and they, it's called an under five. It's kind of a big deal, but it really isn't. You don't really audition for them. So I want you to watch how they spin this, Stephanie. And they also, this is when uh, she was first in the scene, they call her Megan Merkel. Oh dear. Yeah. So let's watch uh, what the casting director from General Hospital has to say about this. And he's so full of crap right now. You blink, you'll miss Meghan Merkel's professional acting debut. What the hell's going on with him? Hidden in the background, Nurse Jill on the legendary soap General Hospital, a part so small they have a name for it, an under five. Which is a role that is five lines or less. But when casting director Mark Teschner took a chance on unknown Megan in the summer of 2001, the five lines were enough to launch her career. We had read Megan for something smaller and liked her enough to give her an under five role, which are not easy to get either. That is the that is Ooh. the biggest bunch of horse pucky, but I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna what? I'm not gonna explain what? to you guys. Why how are we Holly not just her dad got her the job? Yes. Her dad got her the part on Married with Children, and he got her this job on General Hospital. So what? He was so Cold nepotism. Yeah, he was it's so in well Hollywood. Liked. Yeah, he was so well liked that they were like, Yeah, your daughter's an actress. Sure, we'll have her I, on as I, an extra for I the day. I trust you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll give her a line. I mean, that's just how it is. So Thomas Markle back then was good enough to get her these little tiny roles to launch her career. And he was also good enough to take her to the actual ceremony. Now, when crew gets their Emmys, I'm talking like lighting, sound, all that fun stuff. It is a separate ceremony than the thing you watch on TV, the actors getting. This is a separate night, a separate ceremony, or like a sit down dinner. And that's just how, you know, it's worked for years and years and years. So this is them going to that. Apparently she was going to Northwestern back then. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> but uh, I am just saying that her dad was good enough back then mm -hmm. to give her these opportunities and take her. He could have taken anybody, but he took Megan mm -hmm. because she wanted to schmooze with the TV crowd, the Emmy Award crowd. So this just got my goat. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, but whoever fed that to People Magazine, they really need to retract it. I like how it. you said whoever. We know who fed it. We know that. It just makes me so she, angry. She's dude. sinking right now. She needs stuff. She needs she needs some uh you know help from her PR people. I know that's all Megan Markle did not star in General Hospital. <laughs> Megan Markle was an extra on General Hospital who they gave like one line to. You're that's what so, happened. But you're such a fan, and I love that. Do you remember her as, as no. an extra? Apparently it was Jax who walked in and right. had the line with her. What was I that don't scene? I don't remember. It was ah. Mac and Jax. I don't remember. Another delicious thing that happened. Tyler Perry's new prime video movie nabs rare 0% Rotten Tomatoes score. This is so great. And what I do love is I'm going to put some links of people doing their reaction and recaps of this actual movie. It's called Divorce in the Black. I didn't watch it, obviously, but they are hilarious. They're up there with like people doing the Cats movie. Mm -hmm. Like, remember when people were just knocking the Cats movie? <laughs> yeah. This is up there with that. So if you guys really want to laugh, it's really funny. But the downfall of Tyler Perry, I mean, he got markled. He got markled oh, big time. Yeah. He used to be able to put out comedies. He used to and love drama. his drama. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I can watch that on cable over and over and over again. He got markled. But Steph, I've got some breaking news about Tyler Perry because <laughs> he is, uh, he's not going to quit Megan anytime soon, even though he's been markled on his last two movies. Okay. This is just in, guys. <laughs> the Hollywood reporter is saying 
Tyler Perry to be toasted at Paley Honors with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on host committee. Paley Center for Media announced on Wednesday that it will honor Tyler Perry at its Paley Honors Gala taking place in Beverly Hills December 4th. Ooh, sounds pay to play. The event will be held at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, which serve as a celebration of Perry's long and versatile career as an actor. It's based Basically, like a uh, adios to his career because now it's like done. The Paley Center has convened some of Perry's closest friends and colleagues as part of its Paley Honors Tribute Host Committee, including Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Perry is godfather to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex daughter, Betty, after offering up his house to the couple following their contentious exit from the royal family. The other celebrities that will be there. <laughs> wow, what a shocker. Look at this one. Are you ready for this? The Ari Emanuel. Who's that? Who's that? Who's Ari Emanuel? Let's see. He is WME himself. He is WME and Megan's henchman. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, dear. She's so popular right now. It's insane. Oh, Gail King. Oh, dear. That's lovely. Gail King. Yeah. Oprah. So uh, those are the people that we know are connected somehow uh, with Megan. <laughs> and uh, hey, you know what? Seems, seems like a WME event. A little pay-to-play action. And they're honoring Ari. I'm just upset we have to wait till December 4th. Darn it. That's Monique's birthday. Oh, that was our, our little dog. dog Sean. Our little dog that's in heaven. Yeah. Heaven, heavenly birthday. But um, how yeah, dare God. they do it on Monique's how, birthday? How dare they desecrate that? Um, no, but it, it's interesting. It, it, I mean, they're they're already promoting it. That, that's that's crazy. what I was gonna say. That's crazy. They and, it, and there might be a divorce before that. <laughs> so who knows? Let's cross our fingers. Oh my God, this is so pathetic. So anyways, <laughs> Tyler Perry movie bombs. The next day, they say, hey, by the, the way, we're doing something with Harry and Meghan December 4th. <laughs> like, I don't know the reasoning for any of this, <laughs> but... I'm loving it. I, I, do. I do. I do. my popcorn. <laughs> Today's animal rescue is Rescue Coop. We have featured them before, but they just recently took a dog that needs so much medical care, guys. This dog was going to be euthanized, and they saved it. And they do that with a lot of dogs facing euthanasia in high-kill shelters. So I want to give them some love. You can give them a little love. Share them with friends and family. I'm going to put their link in the description below. It really does make a difference, and, and they're just doing amazing work. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We will see you tomorrow. Bye, I love guys. you. Bye.